Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. We're going to talk about another bolo here today, another item that I do look for. It's vintage cell phones, the old bricks and things along that line. I don't sell new cell phones. I don't mess with any of the latest technology cell phones. It's just not worth my hassle. I know there's money to be made on it. I know you can flip them very well. I just stay away from those areas personally. I've got other places that I can invest my money and do better flips that I don't have to worry about returns or scammers or anything like that. But we're going to go to the screen and we're going to talk about vintage cell phones right now. So here we are. This is vintage cell phones. Uh, this here is a brick. They call them brick cell phones. It literally looks like a brick size-wise. This is what was first around. These are still collected. People still fix these up, believe it or not, and they will get them working. I don't know how the technology, if it's able to be used or not on a modern you know, cell line or anything like that. I have no clue on that whatsoever, but I know these go for some mad crazy prices. There are people, as I said, who do fix these up and will repair them, get them working. I don't know what they do with them. I don't know if these are something they use or put them in a movie or something. I don't really know. But the price wise on this $733. A lot of people just think these are junk. I have seen a couple of these even at Savers in the past, even at a Goodwill. It's been a while at a Goodwill. Um, but you do see these occasionally. Sometimes you'll see them at a garage sale, even sitting out on a table thinking it's not worth a thing because it's just sold with a couple bucks on it. So this is an area that I look for. I don't find many. They're very rare to come by. Um, there's other phones that are worth some money too. So we'll show you some of those as well as we go along here. But again, this is a real legit sale. Nine bids on it, $733. Another brick phone. Now this is the Motorola. This is the 8000 series. Uh, this is the one I think I've seen the most of across the board. There's a cord that actually clips into the base too, and that would plug into your cigarette lighter. It's basically a charger for your car. This one went for $352 with 10 bids. But modern cell phones just, I guess, ain't my thing. I'm just not into them. I'm not up on technology. I don't really care that much about cell phones in general. So nothing against them at all, but I'm not big on using them very much. So you won't see me using one in a car. You won't see me texting or anything like that. So anyway, this is what I mess with more than any of the others. $349.99 on this one. Uh, let's see here. And it's lit. It's working. So that's a good plus on it. So it means the charger at least still works. Just another one here. Now this is an 850. There's a bunch of different varieties and versions of these, just like a modern cell phone. Um, you know, some of them are business oriented. Some are specifics. There's some that were made to be mounted in a car too. So you'll see ones with names and company names like BMW or um, let's see, what's the other one? I see Mercedes is another one. And here's another great example of what was a big fad back then. 1985, the briefcase mobile phone. Uh, I thought this was rather interesting because it's a takeoff on some of the coffee table phones that they had that was actually a wooden box. And I've shown one in a video before. I've got a couple here in house right now. Uh, this one sold for 290 Here's another one, just another version of the brick. Um, it actually has the antenna and the whole works here as a unit. They actually have the box for it too. So again, these do sell a variety. There's a ton of different ones around. They're all fairly rare. Phones back in the day weren't that popular. They cost a ton of money and only the very well-to-do could afford these back then. Just another example here. This is an 8100 series from Motorola, $300. And it's got quite a bit with it. The charging stand, the whole works. Most of these still work. They, they just weren't abused. They weren't around long enough to burn out and wear out. And most of them have been turned off for a long time. So obviously it probably won't hold much of a charge for very long, I would imagine, as well either. Most old batteries like this just don't seem to hold a charge. Another one, uh, this one here, 275 on this one. Um, another brick phone here with the stand. It's lit. The, the key thing is here is to show that they actually work. That usually sells them better than anything else. It even has the instructions with it, as well as the car version, the car charger for it there too. So just another good example. Another one here, 850, 275. Um, here's another 8000. This is an X series. You'll get to see the, the stylization on these after you've seen a few of them. There's only a few brands that show up for the most part. I, I pretty much only find like these 8000 series. I think there's only one or two other ones that I've ever found besides this specific series. They're not, I mean, they're rare, but they're, they're not something that would never show up, I should say, because I have found a few here and there. 
But it is worth knowing. It is worth looking for. So 232 on this one with 34 bids. Another one here, 195. Color-wise, they're in four or five different colors. Now, here we go into some other things. Now, this is the T-Mobile Sidekick from 2005 with the box. It says it's new. I don't know if that is the case or not. Uh, I would have to literally look at it a little better than this. But either way, they sell well. They're in some videos, so these are like a drawback, like a nostalgia item, I would say. Um, it's rather interesting. You know, if you're lucky enough to find a couple of these, you know, you're going to do very well. Any of the vintage phones I run into in a box, I usually look up. At least look them up. If not, snag them if they're only a couple of bucks. You can sell these even overseas, and they'll sell fairly well, too. Next one here is an Ericsson. Now, this person had two. He sold one. He has another one left, 165. Um, I'm not sure what you do with these even nowadays, honestly. I don't know if these still are 3G, 4G, 5G, what they would be at all. I don't know, you know, if this would even be a viable piece of machinery. It could just be collected for its vintageness. I'm not really sure, but they do sell. So, And sometimes I can find these on bags, not this specific phone, but phones, vintage phones in general at like a Savers when they were here or Goodwill sometimes has them too. So I always check out all those vintage items. I know to use as a cell phone, no, I wouldn't mess with it, but they still do sell. This has no battery either. Um, the back cover is cracked. Don't know if it even works. So somebody spent 165 no battery, and the back case is cracked. So it must be a collectible version of some sort, I would imagine. Another brick one, 149 This is a cellular one. Same companies that are around today. Made phones back then, of course. Another Motorola, uh, Microtech. Now, I don't know the names. It has the flip top face on this one here. Age-wise, I wouldn't even begin to guess either. Late uh, 90s, early 2000s, I couldn't tell you. Does it have a date on here? Looking on this, you know it's old technology. His knowledge on this is zero, so it's just a perfect example. I know nothing about most of these old phones. So 129, I know they sell, so I do look them up, as I said. Nokia, now I've sold several vintage Nokia for a decent price. This one went for 106 U.S., I don't usually find them in the box. It's usually a bag hanging on a wall somewhere in a pegboard, or I'll find some at a garage sale or something in a bag or something like that, or a picker, or somebody will bring some to me. But they do sell all these vintage stuff. Uh, next one here. Here is a BMW version. I believe they issued them with the car, if I'm not mistaken, as a luxury item. I, I don't know the specifics on them. I just know to look for them. You know, that's the key thing here. If it says BMW, Mercedes, or Porsche, or anything like that, I would snag them up. I know that the chargers in some of these vintage ones can sell for 20 or 30 bucks on their own as well, too. So let's flip on to the next one. And the next one here is a rather interesting one. This vibrates when your cell phone goes off. This is like a first attempt at, I guess, a smartwatch, I would say, at some point. I've never seen one of these in real life, so... Um, this one's unused. It looks like it's in excellent working condition as well, too. I don't know how you'd pair this with something nowadays either. You'd have to have the vintage phone. But it's still sold, 128, um, new with tags. Again, I don't know much about this item here at all. I would pick it up if I saw it. I would look it up for sure. Next one here is a Sony. Most of the Sony I know sell. Most Sony products in general, even like the vintage Walkmans, um, MP3 players and things like that. I do very well on anything Sony. Uh, I've had a few vintage Sony phones. They did sell fairly well. Again, I don't know most of the models. I don't know most of the things. I just know to look them up. And if I can't find them, I'm still going to take a chance if it's a dollar or two. So let's pop on to the last one here. And the last one, it's a first-generation iPhone, still in the box, still sealed, $1,920. I would have probably snagged this one up here just because it's in the box like this. I don't know the usability on this one either. I am not an Apple person at all. Never have been, um, never been a big fan. Again, if you like Apple, that's perfectly fine. I'm not dogging it. It's a good product. It's just not my my taste and, and um, what I'm looking for. Well, there you go. There's another item I look for. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts and ideas on the matter. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.